Hello, my beautiful Saggies. I'm Rita Wells, and if you are new here, welcome. Take a look down below, guys. I'm just gonna jump right into it. We know the drill, right? Want more info? All that is down below. My returning subscribers, love you guys to death. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's see what is going on for Sag in June spirit in regards to love, in regards to them and the person. I'm I'm reading for all energies, guys. So I'm just taking it if it's for you or your person. Take it as it resonates because it is a collective reading. Okay, what is going on for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's take a look at head headspace. I always look at four cards, guys. If you're new to my channel, it's always headspace, heart space, intentions, and outcome. Okay, let's take a look at heart space. Hmm, someone's heartbroken here. You're awake, you're you're leaving a situation, Sag, or somebody that you know is leaving a situation and moving through something very quickly. What is going on with Sag? Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. So you're heartbroken. Or somebody here is heartbroken. Okay, Sag. They're waking up to why they're heartbroken is what I'm getting. And really getting the hell out of a situation okay they just finally had it this person just went from day to night like night to day sorry from dark to light like instantly it's like almost like these doors opened up and they're like boom i'm out of there like i don't even think this is fair warning i'm not seeing the tower but i'm not feeling like this was even fair warning for anybody in, involved or anybody in this person's life who they're close to like or if it's just you it's just like you had this epiphany and you're like i'm done it was like the last strand is what I'm hearing. It's like one last straw. I'm heartbroken. That was the last thing in your heart. I'm done. Tell, let's get some supporting energies with this hermit. The Empress this is a divine feminine energy coming through. You're done, divine feminine. Okay. But this is divine feminine like waking up. Okay. This is a, a, a divine feminine that's coming through. It's woken up. That is done with the last straw. That was it. I'm I'm ending this conflict. I'm not dealing with this in my bringing this conflict into my heart space anymore. It just kills me. I'm moving the hell forward. Okay, we have the you've closed something off here. We have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups. You've come may have completely closed off a water sign here. King of Cups in reverse blocked him. Said no more. I want to look at the bottom. Yeah, this person may be have been giving you all kinds of like I'm getting like flack on their mouth. Like they may have been a charmer and been like. Yeah, baby, I got you. I got you. I'm going to do that. We're going to go ahead. And it's almost like this person, see how it's like they speak it and then it's never the truth because it's closed. It's a closed throat chakra, really closed off, choking. It, it was almost like it for them to like give something to you emotionally or honest was like choking them. It was like painful for them. And you're like, why am I dealing with this yeah we may be good in the bedroom maybe good in other places maybe good in like working together but when it comes down to this expression of love and openness and deep intimacy this person just was closed off to it and you're done here you're like moving forward okay it's because we have the knight of wands in reverse could have been this person shows up doesn't show up yeah contemplating back and forth energy i think you've really had it here uh sag you're like I have to make this decision now because this person is just completely closed off. It's like they're emotionally faking with me or they're, they just want something else or it's just never going forward. And then I have to, it's like, you just had the last straw here. Yeah. They didn't want to ground anything stability with you. Somebody didn't want to gro ground here. They kept delaying, delaying, delaying. Like, oh, so I'm not ready yet, baby. I'm not ready. I'm not doing, I'm not, I can't do that yet. I ain't got the money for that. Like there was, always seems to be an excuse. Knight of Pentacles. You're not dealing with a king here because you got the kings in reverse. We've got a king of Pentacles in reverse. This person may have lied and said, yeah, I got my shit together. I got money. I got, I run my own business. But then you notice like they say they run their own business, but then they have nothing to show for it. It's like, oh, I can't spend a hundred dollars. I didn't make, I didn't, I can't just make money and spend it like that it's like you dude if you if you're making the money that you're saying you're making what's a hundred bucks you know what i'm saying like i feel like this person would like embellish the truth instead of like them saying they were making like you know five thousand this past week they maybe made like 500 like they would overly exaggerate or something you know what i mean and i feel like it's just it was so slow that yeah it was just romance it was the knight of cups this person is very romantic, very chivalrous, very like says all the right thing, does all the right things, comes in and out. 
but it's just a night. It's just immature energy. And I think you're, you're, and this knight is dealing with an empress. I'm just saying. That's an, you're an empress, right? Yeah, you're not juggling this anymore. All right, Sag. I feel like, yeah, two of cups in reverse. The relationship has ended. There's no more of this. Uh, you're really over it. You want more, discovering more. Um, because you realize that the more that you suppress the truth, the more that this was going on. It just never ended. Something was keeping you pulled back into this connection, but I feel coming in June, Sag, this connection is definitely finally going to either stop completely or you're, uh, yeah, Ace of Wands. I mean, for some people, it could move into a new direction, but I don't think it's an honest connection. There's seven swords on the bottom, so I'm not really feeling that. I think this is more you're done and you're really ready for a new passionate beginning elsewhere. We have three of cups and the fool. I think you may feel foolish or somebody feels foolish in regards to friend zoning somebody else or in regards to you may know this person from a from the community the same community that you that you run in but it's really an insta uh what i'm getting an indication that it just was never really fulfilling for you sag okay or it wasn't fulfilling for this person and it just it was just a good time that three of cups and it may have been such a good time that you just didn't want it to end. But it was more of like a friends with benefits or a friends with... We got the Queen of Pentacles here with that Seven of Swords that's flipped up here. See, I noticed it. You're coming into Divine Feminine Energy and being, you know, looking at the deceptions in your life here. Look at this. High Priestess. And wow, you're manifesting. You're ending this toxic behavior and you're manifesting like a real magician. You're going to get a renewal here. So somebody's leveling up or it's like... You're definitely manifesting. Oh my God, look, I said the tower was going to show up and what happens? I flip the deck and it's all messed up and there's the tower. Magic hands, guys, magic hands. Let's take a look what's going on for love. Four Saggies, wow. That was amazing because I felt that, you know, you're just the last straw. You're like, it's that's it. That is, I'm done, you know? And it's almost like, I don't know what happens, but you're done. Yeah, because you're like, I deserve love. That's what's happening. That's coming for you, Sag. You're like, I deserve love. I'm gonna, I've been healing. I'm forgiving. I'm learning. I'm healing my family issues. I'm out of here. Done. Done. Like the goose. Yeah. There may have been romantic feelings and, and all of that. And I'm not saying that the connection wasn't there. But there's definitely just, you know, worth rating. Reconciliation. Make the effort and getting to know each other. I think that you were sitting here hoping that this could reconcile, hoping that the more that you gave to each other, the more you got to know each other, the more that you ended up, you know, you waited, you would have this reconciliation, but it just never happened. Like it just wasn't happening. And, and you're finally at the point of releasing this individual. The chemistry could have been insane that you thought this is the one. And it definitely is a soulmate, but somebody is just not, it is not that the connection, like it wasn't good and it wasn't everything there. It's just this person has, is not in the mature space for this you know and even though you've gotten all of these things and you're making effort it's not fulfilling you sag or somebody here is not fulfilled so somebody is being released okay let's take a look let's go a little deeper what's going on with with i want to say virgo i just did virgo but it's not virgo you may be dealing with a virgo so take that as it resonates let's see what's going on with saggies please in love for june yeah you're awakening to something more here okay Somebody is awakening and having a regret about a twin flame journey, the signs. And this could have been this entire situation, you or your person, but I, I'm feeling this is divine feminine, just fed up. You you were awakened, you know, to this, uh, and you've worked through a regret of this, and you're done, right? And I think there's regret on both sides, even though there's so many signs, something is just not working right now at this time. Yeah, it's been at a crossroads for a long time. So things are falling apart here. There's, there's lessons to be learned. There's a lot. This is going to be a hard time. Grief and conclusion of something, okay? Healing from a commitment because of a karmic situation could have, could have happened. The toxic cycles have not completed. But what I'm really getting is like something has to end here. Um, because it's, it's a time for somebody to choose themselves. Okay, Sag, it's time for somebody to really choose themselves to elevate. And remember, this is really a twin flame connection. Your person is never taken away from you, right? Even though it can be a really dark time. 
um, they'll never be taken away from you. Let's see what, I'm um, sorry, let's see what portals are opening up for Sag. What portals are opening up? I think you're going to get some, some relief here, Sag, okay, in June. I think it's been a hard run for you, but you're going to finally get some, some relief, some healing. Spirit's really bringing in some calm is what I'm getting, okay? This one really wants to come out. Yeah, you're a child of the cosmos, okay? Exactly. God's got your back, okay? So let's see here. We've got water your garden exactly sag time to take care of you rest tenderness relax this is your time in um june to really heal from what this has put you through okay star family you're part of a team of souls call in support okay so you have a lot of support coming in from spirit that wants to help you in june remember you are a child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you Okay, so you're gaining a lot of support here, Sag. Your perspective is being changed. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. So this is about you just getting a new, no matter how hurtful the situation is and how hard it's been, okay? Even though this is your person and something's just not working, this was to change perspective, okay? Really needed to happen to elevate you into the next uh, vibration because you're lifting the veil here. Look at this, questioning everything anything unaligned must go something new is wanting to it's it's almost piercing at you right the pierce of reality the veil of reality is now starting to lift okay and you're going to be getting a lot of support coming in for that okay let's get some messages from your person in june okay i'm sending you so much love saggies let's see what messages for sag just letting it fall as i'm getting guided a lot of divine feminine energy here. We'll read the masculine first. Lying to hide my feelings became such a normal psychological response. I didn't realize how much it hurt others until I hurt you. I'm so sorry. So that could have been the cause of some of this. A lot of deceit. Okay. Which we had. Well, we had regret. Sorry. Not deceit. Okay. Divine feminine. I am doing my best to move on. Your presence is everywhere and I feel you pulling at me. Please stop. Yeah, I feel this is like a very strong connection and you guys are trying to heal here from this. I see my Lord in you. I have dreams of your divinity. I honor the Father Creator Source in you. This love humbles me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Are we having a conversation right now? Am I really talking to you inside of me? I hear you so clearly. I believe in God. I believe in me. I believe in you. I trust in divine timing. So yeah, Sag, this is opening you up, the divine feminine, what I got from these messages into that new realm of psychic and mysticism to trust in the unknown. And that's part of that healing message that's coming through here for you in June, okay? So let's see what spirit animal. Work with the spirit animal in June to help you through this time, Sag. Okay, I'm sending you so much love. Let's see, spirit, what animal should Sag be working with? The tiger. Fierce. The white tiger. Intuition. Okay, with that moon here. Knowing the purity of rising. You know, rising out of that darkness. It's really beautiful because there's, there's stripes. You know, those black stripes on a white tiger just gives it that definition of like, I'm pure light, but my darkness created that beautiful light. You know, it's like, I went through that to, to shine bright. Okay. So work with tiger this month. If you want a reading and that resonated, all that info is down below. Don't forget to like subscribe. I'm sending you so much love. Bye.